Stick around. Much love, y'all. I'm happy to announce we are now taking requests again. If you don't want to get lost in the comment section, email requests to gimmicklessreactions at gmail. If you want to skip the line, support the channel by donating to Cash App, and you'll be priority for requests. Also, the merch store is live, y'all. Yes. First link in the description. Let me know what you think, y'all. And last but not least, we got memberships, baby. Gimmickless Squad will get you badges, emojis, early access to videos, member-only polls, and an initiation shout-out. Gimmickless Fan will get everything that the Gimmickless Squad gets, plus a monthly priority reaction shout-out. And Gimmickless Goats will get a free t-shirt upon initiation and an additional monthly priority reaction request. Much love to y'all. I appreciate you all so much for supporting the channel. Let's roll. It's rap o'clock. Word. I'm Gimmickless here with Gimmickless Reactions. We're about to get into this Pentatonix Bohemian Rhapsody. I just covered this from another artist, and it made me think I was going crazy. And that I was on the wrong song, and I didn't know the lyrics. But over second glance of the lyrics, it was the right song, and that artist must have just performed a piece of it. So... This being six and a half minutes, I'm sure this is the full song. And I'm eager to hear Pentatomics, uh, their, in, uh, their rendition of it, interpretation, whatever you may have. If it's not your first time, oh, excuse me. If it's not your first time here, please consider like and subscribe. And if you like how we vibe in, you can also donate if you want to request at the cash app below. Let's roll. I do have the lyrics up. Looks like it's all gonna be one shot. You must have an overhead mic or something. Is this the real oh, life? I'm tripping. This definitely is not. <laughs> definitely was shot in the studio, and this is just what they chose to use as the visualizer. Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. Got left and right. Ooh, look at that. Mama, so cinematic. Just killed a man. Put a gun against his. Wow, did they fool me? I seen one or two performances from them that was very in the living room with the cell phone. Uh, but that isn't necessarily what the sound was done like. So I definitely thought that that's what this was. But man, look at that infinite black. That's what this is called here. You see how you only see the floor, which actually locate that looks like a street uh, line right there. You see how infinite black it just looks like it goes on forever. When, even though they're in a room, it gives the, it gets, it gives the, uh, illusion of infiniteness. That's it hard. That was super cool, but I don't know the grandiose of that might might have lost the feeling of despair that was supposed to come through with that part. Ooh. 
Oh, who's the man? Who's the man? That is a mother loving street. Let's go. So I'm not a rock guy. What would, would this be classified as? So the first time I heard this song, it was definitely for a stoner movie, stoner movie, Wayne's World, right? Right? Yeah. I didn't know the full con, the full context, but now when I go back and I listen to it, actually, it took me all the way to today and listen to another artist, specifically Putri Ariana, Ariana, the Indian blind singer that won America's Got Idol or America's Got Idol, America's Got Talent, to realize that this is about someone killing someone, getting convicted, and getting the death penalty. Am I not mistaken? How did it take almost my entire life to realize that? Probably because now I actually sit down to break down songs. Before it was just background noise. But so now it's completely different for me. And this was about as far as she got in her version. So. That's why I was confused. I was like, is this the right song? That's how it is, right? And my state in particular, one in five, uh, one in five African Americans under twenty-five go to prison. So obviously, not all of them get death penalties, but that feeling of like, oh, I mess, he, they mess up at such a young age. I don't mean to make you cry if I'm not back to this time tomorrow, like if I get caught. So like when you get locked up, it's a, it's a disappointing feeling to yourself and everyone around you. And then also, of course, you want your family to be there, but part of you wishes you could tell them to carry on like nothing really matters because then ironically in a weird dark way you wouldn't feel as bad for what you did because you didn't also let them down as uh, alongside yourself Shivers down your spine to me that represents like uh like electric chair, right? You gotta face the truth, gotta face the consequences. This is reality, this is not a dream. That feeling of the momentary when your your mind is running a million miles a second like i don't want to die sometimes i wish i'd never been born at all which to some people is the same thing as like suicidal thoughts but also in that moment it's like a way you could escape your fate God 
it down. Oh, let's go. Now it's about to get cold. This is this whole part wasn't it was not a part of the last version, which is the entire part that I specifically remember. The one that sticks out in my mind the most, which I was like, is this not the right song? I see a little silhouette of a man. Scaramouche, scaramouche, will you do the fandango? Oh, okay. Yeah, I did not understand that. So, okay, so as a kid, I only remember the second part of the song, not the part where it's clearly like if you understand. Maybe I did hear the part. Either way, back then I didn't realize that this was clearly about making a terrible mistake and having to face your fate of getting the death penalty and letting your entire family down. And who's the person you can let down the most? Your mother. So this is like little pieces of his, uh, little fragments of the personality, like begging for forgiveness, basically. I'm just a poor boy. It's not my fault. I'm a I'm a product of my surroundings type ish. I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. It's spared in his life from this monstrosity. The monstrosity is the choices or the actions that he made as a consequence of his upbringing and surroundings we can say easy come easy go will you let me go mama mia god she's so little Beelzebub, that's the, the, the name of the alternate name of the devil, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, mama mia, mama mia. Mama mia, let me go. Beelzebub has the devil brought aside for me. Beelzebub has the devil brought his time for me, I see. This shit is hard. This is epic. Okay, so you think the travel through the sub- It was like a travel through the subconscious. Like, oh, okay, I'm about to die. Oh, let me do some pleading. Okay, and then to cope with his fate, it's just nothing. This doesn't even matter anyway. Nothing really matters to me. Yeah, that's hard. Ooh, yeah, 
Yeah, that was hard. All right, Pentatonix. Y'all tell me where to go. I wanted to uh, take a memory stroll down my most popular videos, and Pentatonix was in the top three. So why don't y'all tell me where to go? This was a lot of fun for me. Sometimes I had to go back and block out the video, but hopefully this doesn't happen with this one. But either way, much love to y'all. I'm Gimmickless. This is a ah. I'm Gimmickless. This is a reaction. And until next time, that's a wrap. Peace.